Thank you for joining us in Legendary Studios. Today I'm introducing you and my two colleagues, Cax and Nato, to the game Star Wars Rebellion. This is by far one of the best games I've ever played. It's the best Star Wars game. And I thought we'd take you through this first turn and just teach you the fundamentals. This is Legendary Tactics. Bold statement. Yes. The best Star Wars game of all time. Bold. So, this is hands down the best. Yes. So I'm really happy to teach you guys this game. This will be exciting. This game is fun enough for me to just because I can sit back, teach you, watch what you're doing, <laughs> yes. and just enjoy the spectacle. And I, excellent. I would actually argue that if there's ever a game that felt like you're playing the movies, yes. this is the one. And so we start, just to give you a bit of the narrative here, we start with a Bathuai, a small colony of rebel soldiers. We've got a hidden rebel base. Cacus, have you chosen your card? I have, I excellent. have. So let's, um, now before you show it to the camera, yes. um, we're going to give you a warning here. If you don't want to see where the rebel base is and you want to play as if you're the the Galactic Empire here with NATO, then I want you to avert your gaze for the next five seconds. Here we go. Ready, I'll avert my gaze. Four, three, two, one. And hide the card. Okay. Okay. It is gone. <laughs> so that is the base. He's going to slide that there under the rebel base. So he has hidden his base somewhere on this map. Your job is to find him, land on the space, eradicate his units. Nice. You win the game. All right. Done. Your job Easy. Yes. is to not avoid. Die. <laughs> avoid. Avoid. Very simple. So over on the left side of the board, we have a counter counting forward, and we also have rebel objectives Excellent. counting backwards. So your job is to close that gap faster by completing rebel objectives. Okay. So you can draw one of those cards right now. Okay. And this is uh, and this a secret to me. Objective number it one. It is here. secret. Okay. So you won't know what espionage he's up oh, to. Boy. Now both. Of them have four leaders to begin with, and these leaders correspond to um, the four that are marked with the, uh, the the leader badge, and those those cards are removed from the game. Uh, you can see on page 16 the setup for the initial game. That's what we've got set up here. Okay. And so we of course begin with the rebel player. Uh, he's going to he's got two options for his characters here. You're either going to send them out to a system that's adjoining one of your systems, and you can draw uh, units into that space. You can't oppose his movement. Mm. He can he can do that if it's free will. Kay. Or, if on his cards he's got symbols that correspond with the symbols on his character, you need to meet the minimum number of symbols on there. So if there's three of a particular symbol, then you need a character with three. Okay. Um, if there's one, you only need the one. You can send multiple leaders. And if you do so, that just gives you a better shot because for each of those symbols, you'll get a dice to roll in order to complete that, only if it's opposed. If it's okay. not opposed, yep. it's then an it automatic happens. success. Okay. That's right. right. So we begin basically with two choices. One is, do you want to move your units to secure more territory in order to establish your, your builds? Which, on this side of the board, um, if, let's say, you take Malastare, then you will end up getting, let's say it's your, your <coughs> capture. Mm -hmm. One stormtrooper, you match the symbol here with that symbol, and mm -hmm. that will happen in build Q1. At the end of that phase, that'll come off the edge of the board, and you'll get to build those units. Yeah, so so you can you keeps... notice like Mon Calamari, that's on build Q3, because the, the Calamari cruisers are awesome, but they take three turns in order to produce those. So yeah, it's there's, slow. there's an industrial mechanic <laughs> yeah, here. Right? Right. That's cool. All right. That's, that's, I like that. It's very elegant. It's very cool. Yeah. So very any elegant. questions before we start? No. No, I, yeah. we've, uh, yeah. All right, let's, let's okay. do it. Let's try this out. So okay, I'm going to so start with, to uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, what I want to do is I want to get some oh, transport. Actually, just, just before we do that, okay. um, we should have you both queue up the mission cards that you want mm -hmm. to play to sort of give a um, secret visual cue to your opponent how many missions you're planning. Okay. Um, we can adjust these as we go, or at least that's how I've always played, because it's more fun that way. Mm -hmm. But this will um, portion out your characters into the essential missions. Um, there's three ways to use your characters. One is to move, the second is to do missions, and the third is to oppose your enemy's missions. And this can be really valuable. Yep. Often one of the strategies of the game is to hold your very best missions until the end of your turn so that he's exhausted all his characters and then you can do it for free. Mm -hmm. So that's a technique to, to watch out for. Okay. okay. So. Excellent. So I'm going to go with two missions. Great. Oh, awesome. me figured it. So you get to start. Yeah, what I think I want to do to start with is uh, go ahead and transport. 
Transport is an option available to me. So yeah, yes. Is that on on a card or? But is I'm going to first activating? bring in somebody into uh, Rodia. Rodia. Nice. Okay, so you're activating the system of Rodia. Yes. So any adjacent systems, you would be able to uh, call your warriors to, assuming you can meet the capacities um, of your ships, and you can see the capacities here. So uh, one of these rebel transports carries four units, and I'm taking all four. three of them over. We're all moving nice. in. We're moving in on oh, the big old transport. Here. We're all coming in. I'm going to perhaps leave. because your rebel base is right. There? There. It's there. It's right yeah, there. I'm pretty sure. That's right. Yeah. So, so hunker down. <laughs> he is guarding. Hunker now, are down. you moving any of your space forces over there? No, I'll leave the space forces there as a buffer. I might move. Um, I can move some of my transporters. Is there another transport? No, I think that's. That's it. Yeah. That's pretty well it. That's that transport it. is a sitting duck. Actually, if he this one here. We're going to zip this guy <laughs> over. I'm a, little, I'm a little ways away though. He is. Yeah, we'll, You're at least yeah. two turns away. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's, right. that's fair there. Okay. So we're going to go with that move. Absolutely. That's my first turn. That's your turn, and now okay. we go to you. Yep. And right. so basically you play until all of your leaders are exhausted, or mm -hmm. until you pass. Okay. So I'm going to counter that with a move. Now if I move uh, into, into the spot from Naboo, can I flip this loyalty over? So you'll, um, if you have land troops, the land troops will subjugate that territory. Space okay. troops, they just float around and people ignore them. Yeah, okay. It's not a problem. All right, but I want to bring some muscle here with me. Oh, perfect. Okay. So if I, if I want to land those guys there... And you can carry six I units. I can carry six which units. Is awesome. so, so. Can these guys move right. again so I if I chose to move in? Uh, no. So any units that are in a system that have a leader in them cannot be activated again. So you can't like leapfrog. Okay, okay. You're limited to basically one square. One square movement. out. Okay. That's right. And okay. subjugation, you need to have troops it's there. Right? That's right. To... And so subjugation, now that we're there, yeah. uh, is essentially this stormtrooper uh, means that he's there in an unfriendly capacity. So people are actually quite loyal to the rebels, but he just stomps all over that with these <laughs> troops. Yeah. Um, yes. It means that he doesn't get the second production, but he does get the first production. If these troops leave, then it returns to rebel okay. loyalty. And if that happened to be my base, I would have to declare it. Right now, you would have Naboo. to tell him that he has found you and you've lost the game before you've even started. I was tempted, but no. No, that was not it. Okay. <laughs> Piece of strategy advice, beginning players, don't put your base directly next to a system, especially if it's one that has a production value, because yes. uh, chances are you will lose swiftly. Yes. yes. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and with build an alliance in... Oh, boy. Rodia. Okay. So and this one is going to gain me uh, now territorial control, right, yeah. of Rodia, if, if I'm successful. Well, not control, like loyalty. They're, they're going to become That's right. Loyal now, this, this says attempt on the card, and there's a difference between attempt uh -huh. and resolve. Resolve means it happens no matter what. Attempt means you can stop this. Do you want to if, come in with some... So I need to come in with the yellow, whatever yeah. that yellow... Now, the only problem is he's already got this Four. leader here. Yeah. His name is Jan Dadana. And so he's already got one and plus three. Yeah. And I will get an extra two. I'll get full five dice. Yeah, I'm not, I'm oh, not going to oppose okay. that. That's no true. opposition. In. I'm yeah, coming in one way or another. Strength. That's right. So, so you All get right. your loyalty, which means at the start of the next turn, you're going to get a rebel uh, trooper, and that will be into the game immediately because excellent. of the one yes. that's, that corresponds to, to the build queue the, where they appear. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Great. All right. Um, okay. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to do this move here. So rule by fear. And uh, so I can attempt in any spot which... Any populous so system. So a populous system means that it has a, a production marker mm -hmm. or a square for loyalty. So Endor, where the poor yep. little Ewoks are, is yes. not populous. I find that offensive. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those Ewoks. Yeah, They're Ewoks jerks. are people too. <laughs> They're jerks. Okay, so can I do this and then make this uh, loyal? Well, I, actually, sorry, I have to attempt to make them Oh, loyal. right. So you attempt in a populous system that contains an Imperial unit, you do. If successful, gain one loyalty. And this requires the yellow symbol. And I've got And three. I can try and to you've block got it. Three. So oh, you, wait a second. You, is, uh, I used, leader, no, no, no. Is I used uh, the Emperor for that. Right. Is Tarquin your leader, though? He is the leader, So yes. you actually have four, four because both leaders add up for yeah. this. <clears throat> so it would be a four on two situation. Yeah. I'm going to pass. <laughs> okay. Wow. Pass he really happen. wanted to stomp all over your authority. So we have kind so, of flip-flopped there a little bit. Is He's that, gained I one. Really gained one. Um, Does it take time? Okay, so you are removing the rebel loyalty yes. from Naboo. <coughs> okay, you. so uh, I have one more power play here that I'm going to attempt in a populous system. And I'm going to hop right into here. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Actually, we'll go into this one here. 
risky. Ooh, we'll go right into risky. that. Right into the one that is you... this sabotage? <laughs> yeah. Attempt in any popular system if successful. Place a sabotage marker in this system. This marker prevents players from building units uh, from and deploying. So you're basically blocking him from getting one stormtrooper in that <laughs> yeah. location. Or would it be better to go down here then? It might be. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. We'll go down yonder then. To yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would actually consider Corellia. Corellia. Oh, uh, simply because he does a TIE fighter and he does a Star Destroyer. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so, let's, let's try blocking. Uh, I'm going to block uh, all right. Right there. It does make you a it's, juicy. It's going to uh, take a bit of a, a good roll here. So it's a two on one? It's like I got a one. Uh, three. three. Three on one. Oh, it's the fist. Is it right? Okay. Block. Oh, one block. hit. Block. Oh, oh block. Block. That was a bit of an outside <laughs> shot. <Yeah. gasps> it was. It was. Yeah. Fair enough. So why stay though. there? Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is. You the still end. have one leader, so I know, and it is right. your turn. To oh, I still have this leader. More. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, I'm gonna attempt to capture a, one of your leaders who happens to be right here. So I can hop in sure. with my own guy, and I'm going you to try. Is it now? Do okay, I? So this is Darth Vader helps out. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's all the fist Four fisticuffs. Four on two. Oh boy. Oh yep. nasty. Oh no! Oh, oh dear! Oh, oh dear! So <laughs> two hits. Now, can I? Yeah. So I got two hits. So and just to clarify, this this hit here is irrelevant in this kind of exchange. Yes. Uh, when you're in this kind of combat, black dice apply damage to black uh, defense, except in the case of this symbol, in which case you you can choose. You can be either one. Yeah. Exactly. So, so now, because I was attempting, Leia came in as support, so I can't suddenly like change to capture her. Right? It has to be that's the one right. I was. You were attempting against this. So fella. now I've captured this dude. What what That's right. So him? there are capture markers here. Um, okay. If successful, capture that leader, and then when they're captured, they are uh, stuck. You leave them on the board, and now you you sort of control him, but he doesn't oh. return to his My leader base. pool. So he can take a so. leadership role in the empire. Vader knows that I'm a member <laughs> of the Rebel right. Alliance. <laughs> yeah. so what do I do with? I put a ring. One of There's these rings one of on these him? rings is the capture ring. Oh. Okay, so you have captured that leader, so we we put that Attach attachment the ring on. Captured ring. Now he can be interrogated. Oh no! And move. And move. That's right. Oh. Yes, indeed. More information. Tell us, okay, so that Tell is us the, all your secrets. That is the end Ooh. of the round. So now so you, you're out. I'm out. You're out. So now we trigger the end of round. So uh, essentially move that token up one. You're going to um, move it up to the number two spot. Do you see that uh, two symbols here? Yes. Uh, one means that you draw two cards from here. Okay. Uh, these are your action decks. You okay. draw two as well. Okay. And it's a trap. Because this is our first game, <laughs> yeah. we're going to ignore the text at the top and we'll just go from the picture at the bottom okay. and you'll choose one of those two leaders and put the other leader on the bottom of your deck. And then you'll add that leader to your pool. So next turn, and this is how the game expands. Each turn you get a new leader. So a few you, more actions. And yeah, so you want to look at what leaders complement the forces that you already have. My current abilities. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so I just put That's that leader close. into play. Yeah. That's right. And uh, actually, sorry, I did get a little excited there. We should return all of our leaders to your proper leaderboard. Except for the captured guys. Except for the yeah. captured guy. They stay, they they stay come put. with me. <laughs> yeah, they, come they with are me a member of the live. Rebel Alliance. <laughs> Sorry, wrong franchise. Now, do you have an objective card that you accomplished this No, time? I did not. You did not. No, okay, no, that's, no, 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 that's no. unfortunate. It is very, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Good. Good. Uh, very unfortunate. These cards go back in hand. <clears throat> yeah, so if it has a recycle <clears throat> symbol on it, yep. that goes back in your hand. Sorry, I just was rude to the camera. Yeah, no problem. It was an accident. This is a family show. So... <laughs> so you return those. You also draw nice. two new mission cards. Two so new mission cards. These are the cards right. that when you play them, they get burned, essentially. Yeah. But they're powerful. They've got yes. some. And this is where the narrative comes out of the game because it adds the story. So uh, you're going to launch two probe droid probes. Yes. So you'll take two of the probe cards. Cass, can you pass over the top two cards from the probe deck? The top two cards right from the probe here. deck. Got That's it. That's it. Give those to NATO so One, he two. will know that you are not in these two locations. Oh, very good. So it slowly whittles down That's the right. field. Okay. Um, Cax, you will also draw one objective card. One objective card. Got it. And we also need to do the, we've got the recruit icon here. So we'll systematically go through the board. Let's go left to right and we'll, we'll recruit. Um, let's start with the rebel player. So okay. over here we have a blue triangle, which is an X-wing. blue wrench. Nato, can you hook us up? And a yellow wrench. And we have a stormtrooper. And that goes in one. You mean a rebel trooper. That, that'll go in one. A Nato. rebel trooper, yes. Oh, yes, it goes in the one. 
goes in the one queue on that side of the board. Okay. Yep. Uh, moving across, we've got Kashik with two, two wrenches. rebel troopers. Two rebels. Two troopers. triangle wrenches there. Yep. What are those? Troopers. Rebel troopers. Yep. Okay. Rebel troopers. In one. Or two. Uh, one. Uh, that's one. 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 Oh, yeah, okay. that's right. Yep. Moving to Bothawai, we have one. in a one. Air speeder. Air speeder. In. One, two, one. one. Oh, uh, in number one, we also have a rebel trooper. Rebel trooper in one. And I think Jeez. that's all you've captured, Cax. So yeah. they'll, they'll be coming onto the board this turn. So at the end of this round, those units <laughs> will come out of the production queue and instantly go on the board. Right. And yeah. units that are further up in the three or the we'll two, drop down. they move down as if they're being produced. Excellent. Take a little longer. Yeah. Excellent. So let's work through the Galactic Empire, starting from left, the Salukami. Um, and because he has loyalty in the system, that means means you get both builds. There is only one build there. That's an ATST, okay. and that will be in one. All right. Next we have Mandalore. This is subjugated, so you yep. don't get the second one. So we only end up with the one Stormtrooper storm trooper in one. Okay. Coming across to Coruscant, we have one Stormtrooper in one. That's it? That's right. Uh, coming over here, you get a Star Destroyer, Star Destroyer, and a Tie Fighter. In that's in three. Oh, it'll right. take you a little. Oh, okay, while. that's a little while. But it is a Star time. Destroyer. It is a that's Star right. Destroyer. Celeste is subjugated, so we only get the Stormtrooper in two. Okay. Naboo subjugated, so we only get the Stormtrooper in one. Okay. And Mustafar is loyal to you, so we get a Tie Fighter in two. And we get an assault carrier in two. Okay. So that is the extent of the units. Okay. So those units all move down one square and one section. So any of these units that come off the edge of the board now go into place. So you can place okay. them and you can place up to two units uh, per place that you own, a factory or in your case that you subjugate. Nice. Okay. So these slide down. Mm. Yep. That slides down. And, and those oh come with okay. So who places first? Uh, so it goes rebel player. Rebel okay. player first. Yep. All right. So That's we're gonna right. drop two into. Oh, Bothawa. nice. Well defended. Yes. 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 Slides all units one space down. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put uh, two more units over into Rodia. <laughs> oh boy. It looks like we're cruising for a brew. <laughs> Big time. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna drop. Uh, well, those. Are, that's loyal. That one's loyal too. Um, yeah, make the most you know of what? That. I want a few more uh, people in the oh, rebel in the base. Rebel base. Okay. Why not? So that is officially. I think we've covered everything. That's the end of the turn. Um, uh, however, just to make this interesting, mm -hmm. I'd like to suggest that NATO has one. Sorry. Uh, yeah, NATO has one chance to win this game if he can correctly in. Shall we say two guesses? <laughs> I'll give you two. Do you think two is fair? Or should we give him three? Let's give him three. Three. We'll give him three, three guesses. If NATO, in three guesses, can pick where Cax is, because we're only playing the first turn, we'll say that you win the game. Right. Yes. And if you can't successfully predict your opponent's oh. whereabouts based on his movements, then yeah. Admiral Akbar wins the game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Admiral Akbar! Yeah. So, so if yeah. I had to guess only three, um, I would say. Um, first guess is Yavin, far end of the board there. Yavin. True to the game. True to, yes, the original True to the, original original the, movie? Yep. Of the Rebel But case. not in the game. No. Oh, Strike boy. one. Strike one, okay. Number two would be Tatooine. Strike two. Oh, oh it comes down to Casey at the a, bat. You've got a couple of cards here. You know yeah. he's not in Utapau yeah. and Bothawa. <clears throat> yes. So that narrows it. All right. Um, now Yavin would have been very dangerous because you're just one I know, space I know, away. But I thought but, I might be. Um, and, and you know what? I don't know where it is either. So after you're okay. done, I'm gonna take one guess. Okay, I'm gonna say Ryloth. Strike three. Oh, may I take my one <laughs> Please guess? Please take one guess. Rodia. Strike four. Oh, oh! Whoa. I thought you were. I thought you were pumping that up. Oh, Shift man. one to the right. <laughs> oh, you're in Geonosis. Geonosis! Oh, wow. <laughs> and I was getting that a little nervous. Close. I was getting yeah, a little nervous because I didn't close. expect you to come up. I thought maybe you were going to shift this way a bit. Yeah, and yeah. then... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> so was your plan to move into Geonosis, Geonosis to next. defend it? Yes. Yeah, oh. just in case. You would have had quite a force. You would have knocked him out. And then he would have had a hard time getting to you. And by the time he got there, you can actually relocate with one of your cards. Oh, and then wow. zip somewhere that's right. over, to somewhere. So reaches over here. It look like you yeah. might actually catch him quickly. There's a lot 
lot that this player can do. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, so great. that is our first turn playthrough. Thank you both for joining me. I really it was, it was a lot great. of fun. I it was a lot of fun. So, and uh, we'll we'll follow up with some more content on this amazing game later. If you have any uh, questions, thoughts, comments. Put it down below. Uh, don't forget, to, you can join our channel as a member as well if you would like more content, extra legendary content, mm -hmm. and uh, be sure to get out there. Get gaming. And be legendary. <laughs>